He won eight medals in the Winter Olympics. Apollo Ono is one of the best speed skaters the world has ever seen. Although he trained since he was a kid for this, he was not prepared for retirement. I recently sat down with Apollo on a Zoom call to talk about that transition, which he details in his new book titled Hard Pivot. Apollo Ono, one of the most successful Winter Olympians of all time. But retiring from the sport was a whole new challenge. Apollo, did you ever realize how hard retirement was going to be? We call it the great divorce, um, where like I had this first true love that taught me and nurtured me and gave me all these attributes and kind of affirmations that this was my purpose. And at the snap of a finger, even though it was by choice, um, I'm kind of left with this question of, okay, like what other skill sets have you developed? How have you progressed in your life outside of the world of basically going in circles? And what do you really want to do with your life? There are a lot of people who will be able to relate to you more on this journey of change than on your journey of becoming an Olympian. When you talk about the lowest of the lows for you, what did that look like? The, the depths, I think, of which the lows were, I think it's just like a real lack of of self-acceptance, right, at, it, at, at the heart. So like for me personally, I really struggled with that. I really struggled for a very long time of being able to look in the mirror and be able to accept who I saw. Um, because I was taught and I was conditioned for so long to never accept that. And actually, no matter how good you skated, no matter how well you performed, it was never good enough. And while that can be an incredibly motivating leverage to lean on and a lever to lean on, there is a toxic element to that when it starts to become too obsessive and you're no longer looking in the past, you know, you're not living in the present, instead you're looking in the past and preparing for the future. And so you're kind of in this weird rat race where you're on this constant treadmill feeling like you can't get off. One of the things that I liked in the book, you talk about not FOMO, but FOPO, F-O-P-O, <laughs> what is that? FOPO, um, that fear of other people's opinions, I think it really kind of holds you back from being your most authentic self. And so instead of worrying about what other people are thinking about you, and some of these are strangers, by the way, um, it's time to kind of have that internal conversation with yourself and say, what's necessary? What do I need to do to really achieve these goals that I have set forth in front of me? And realize that the work is and always has been the shortcut.